Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon training team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can clone emitters using MoGraph. In this new MT project, I'm going to go to the simulate menu and create a basic emitter. For this particular case, I'm just going to set this to be a sphere and uh, reduce its size to 30 centimeters in each axis. Then I'm going to create a cloner. Make sure the cloner is in radial mode because uh, that's what I like to use and make the basic emitter a child of the cloner. And now you can use all the parameters here to change anything you want. And all these emitters are going to be active emitters. That's how simple it is. Now, mind you, for this to work, you need Cinema 4D 2024.5. That was released in July of 2020. Four. So to add a bit more information to this, I'm going to give you a quick overview of this setup over here that does this very interesting shape when animated. We get these emitters that are moving outwards. This is spinning. Then we get some noise and so forth. So let me give you the overview. The fundamental cloning happens over here with a radial mode and uh, I'm animating the radius to go from a smaller radius to a bigger radius and then back to a small one. And I'm just oscillating these values. And uh, then what I'm doing is I'm just mapping the color age percentage to this gradient. Then I have a turbulence, which is only applied after a certain degree because I'm using a spherical field. I have a rotation force that is facing upwards. The Z axis facing upwards, so it's rotating around the Z axis. And then I've got some friction out the outskirts of this using another spherical field. And that's all it takes to create very interesting setups using cloned emitters. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.